And yeah, welcome back. As we made our way through the morning hours, we did have partly to mostly cloudy skies, but then we started to have a decrease in the clouds, more sunshine by the afternoon. We kept mainly clear skies through the late afternoon and early evening. We think we're going to cloud up once again as we go through later on into the evening, but most of us should stay dry. Maybe some of those showers skirt our western counties like they did last night, but it looks like we're in that dry and mild pattern at least through the first part of the weekend. Here's a look at the high temperatures today. Uh, 84 degrees, 10 degrees above average here in North Platte and at Lexington, 86 at Ogallala, 87 at Imperial and at Valentine, and 83 year high at Thedford. Here's a look at the current temperatures. We have fallen into the mid-60s, North Platte, Thedford, upper 60s, and we have out toward Valentine and Broken Bow, near 70 at Lexington and Ogallala, and there's your temperature near 80 at Imperial, with the winds continuing from a southeasterly direction, still around around 10 to 15 miles per hour, but you can see there's just a little disturbance right here, uh, just cutting off the Nebraska panhandle. Behind that disturbance, a northwesterly wind. So, uh, cooler air is approaching us, but this is a very slow moving cold front. It's actually right about here. It's not going to get very far. It'll take until Sunday before it gets into central Nebraska, and we'll show you why later. Now, Doppler radar showing that we do have mainly clear to partly cloudy skies, just some very isolated shower activity into our southern counties. Most of the moisture is still out west with some moderate to even with the oranges, uh, some heavy uh, rain uh, that is now making its way through the Nebraska panhandle. Now, Here's a look at the Doppler radar. Low pressure system moving off to the east very slowly. This high still in charge of our forecast with the frontal boundary on our doorstep. We're still in the warm air. The cold air can't filter in yet because it's battling against post-tropical cyclone Ian. And it's because this is just sitting here spinning around, this low can't move off to the east. So that's why we're going to keep the same weather pattern as we go through the day tomorrow. So we're starting off in the lower 50s, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. High temperatures tomorrow with a good amount of sunshine back into the mid 80s, a strong southerly wind as the northwesterly wind will stay into the panhandle. Now, most of the moisture once again will miss us on Saturday into the panhandle. As we go through Sunday, more cloudy for us, partly to mostly cloudy, but still enough of a southerly wind to get us into the lower 80s. And by Sunday night, finally, we get that front here and chances for some showers. We'll get into our viewing area. So here's a look at what to uh, the wide view and notice how slow these are going to move compared to how they usually move. It takes a couple of days for this cold front to get from western Nebraska to central Nebraska, just battling out against Ian over the Appalachian Mountains. But eventually we get back to normal. We'll get back to a cooler floor flow and more moisture chances are ahead as we start next week. So Ian is now a post-tropical cyclone. It made another landfall near Charleston, uh, South Carolina, and is now moving into the Appalachian Spine uh, just off to the west of, uh, say, Roanoke, Charlotte. It should just sit, spin around here uh, still between uh, 60, 70 mile per hour winds that continue to move off to the north around 15 miles per hour. Shouldn't be around much longer by Saturday night. Really, really dissipating into the hills of West Virginia. Let's take a look at the extended forecast. And for us, finally, when Ian moves off to the east and dissipates, we get into the cooler air and chances for some showers. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, a little windy over the weekend. So that high near 86 on Saturday will be down to 82 on Sunday, 75 on Monday, lower 70s on Tuesday, back to sunshine Wednesday and Thursday. But we fall even further. Low 70s become mid-60s. And then for the day on Friday, partly cloudy skies with a chance of showers and a high of 63. Kent? And so maybe for this weekend, our last chance at those uh, well above normal temperatures before we kind of fall back into that more fall-like weather. You know, it's the last weekend it will feel like summer, so enjoy it if you like that because I know we want the cooler air here too. Yeah, all right. Thanks so much, Justin. And Nebraska is looking at the future of electric vehicles in the state. The Nebraska Department of Transportation just announced the U.S. Federal Highway Administration has approved more electric car charging stations in Nebraska. It's part of the National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Formula Program. And as a result, Nebraska will be getting about $6 million per year 